Let's take a look at a few tools that we we'll use on a regular basis if we program with Squeak. Click on the background, choose Class Browser, and up com comes a Class Browser. Those are packages in that pane there. If you install new packages, they'll be at the bottom of that list. Now we have four menus that you hit this little square tab. Um, <clears throat> each of those is connected with uh, the pane that it's, it's next to. So the actual classes are in that second pane. The actual methods are in the last pane there. And the code is in the bottom. This pane is just a sort of helps you organize your methods into categories. That's another uh, menu, which I've never found that useful, but it's there. That button will make the browser larger. This button will conveniently put the browser away for a little while. And that button gets rid of the browser altogether. Just to show you one last thing with the browser, if you click and get this menu, you click on Find Class and type in the name of the class you want. Here we're going to use Object then up it comes. And there's a class comment in the bottom pane there which just appeared. Now let's get a workspace which is basically where you put code, you do it, and that inputs code to the system for it to execute, use. We're going to put in object all instances to see how many instances of object are in object memory. We're going to explore it, then we get a window which shows us that there are seven instances of object and object memory, some of them probably about to be collected by the garbage collector. Let's look at one last tool in this video for Squeak Tools, and that's the method finder. Say we wanted to find the method print string. We know it's somewhere in the system choose print string and those are all the classes which have an instance of the method print string. There's the actual code. That's a class comment there because it's between double quotes. The actual code in this method is that right there.